What's going on guys? It's your boy Big Stace. You feel me? Hey man. I know y'all been missing your boy. Man, it's been a minute since I came out with another part, but y'all know I've been streaming. Not on the daily, but relatively on the daily. For the past week or so. So yeah man, if y'all want to tune into the stream, you know. I know you're a little bored. I know you be a little bit of bored at work, you see? and join into that stream. Y'all might as well. Y'all ain't got nothing else to do. Oh, yeah. And again, I know I wasn't here to tell everybody Merry Christmas, but, yeah. Happy belated Christmas. Oye, Clara. <laughs> I'm on my way to Valle de Oro. Good. I hope you find Maximus Matanzas. How do you know them, anyway? Talia and I led the first protests against Castillo, while Paolo mobilized the dissidents. We lost contact after the Esperanza riots. I saw those riots. A lot of people got hurt. So what we can do? Clara, I need to help Paolo pay off a debt to some black market smuggler named Bembe. Do whatever it takes, Danny. If Paolo was able to build that camp on the run, imagine what he could do for Libertad when he decides to fight. Understood, Clara. Let's get this chest first. If we can find a way in. Okay, can't find a way in immediately. You been there? I know a city when I see one. What is wrong with Ola, asshole? Try to fuck me, Danny Rojas. I saw your organs to the Yankees. And I know if I shoot you, Palo's death disappears. No. You have rules. You might kill, but you're no killer. Mierda. You got me. So what does that make you? I kill guerrillas. I also kill soldiers. It's just business. Easy to pretend you're not picking sides. My father was a guerrilla in 67. After the revolution, he put on a crisp military uniform. Thirty years later, to his surprise, a fresh new revolution with fresh new guerrillas. They thank him with a bullet to the skull. Buried in the same crisp uniform. Are you ready for your uniform, Rojas? Goes both ways. How's that? You were just dressed like a priest. <laughs> I like you, Danny Rojas. We can do business. Fucking damn it. <laughs> Man disappeared. I heard those criminal propagandists, the ones from the riot in Esperanza. Okay, Rojas. I need walks. you to pick up my key from my <laughs> business partners. Jesus, Where are they? Oh, at the hotel. Yeah. My associates are named Dimitri and Vasily. They're Russian and they're twins. I'll make it easy and send a picture. You're too kind. They say kindness is the lowest form of manipulation. This is a simple job, Rojas. Get me my key and Paolo will thank you. I don't want Paolo's thanks. I want Paolo's debt cleared. We all do, Rojas. Me most of all. Right. I'll get you this key. But then you and Paolo are square. Understand. Love you, Ross. Bye bye. As long as you know that dead is free. Two Russians. They look like twins. Hola, Rojas. I thought you should know that there might be some soldiers at the hotel. Might be. Hey. I'm just trying to help you. You don't help people, Bembe. You use them. I'll take that as a thank you. Let's try to get her over here. Let's uh... execute him. Okay, the Russian twins are somewhere here. Bimbe sent the portal of the twins. Find Bimbe's keys. Okay. 
How am I missing this? Yeah, come on. I see a Russia. Yeah. What is it, Dimitri or Vasily? Start killing? Oh, no. Nope. I guess that's not what I'm supposed to do. Come on, come on. Yeah, I mean he's down so now I can talk to him. That's honestly what I needed to do anyway. I'm not sure if I needed to capture him or what. What's my business? Get up. You're okay. Get up. We talk now. Okay, I guess I gotta kill everybody here first. Oh, where's the last dude? I hit moving shots like that, but I can't hear somebody that's standing still. I'm like five feet what away. Do you want? Okay. Are you Dimitri or Vasily? Dimitri, who the fuck are you? Bembe sent me. Where's the key? <laughs> so that's what this is about. Bembe fucked us good. First he sends military, then he sends you! I don't work for Bembe. I'm just here for the key. My brother has the key. The soldiers drowned him like a dog, but he didn't once beg for his life. He died in that fancy pool like a man. My Vasily. Gracias. I'm sorry about your brother. I'm getting out of Yara. You should too before Bembe stabs you in the back. Idiota to suck! I never should have come to this godforsaken country. Bembe, you fucking hijo de puta. Ah, so you got my key. See, si, I found it on your dead Russian friend. Now, Rojas, the key opens a safe at Via Hudia Hotel. I need the black book inside. What's in that book? For you? Freedom. Oh shit. Sneaky. Oh, let me get out of sight of him. Letting those animals out could be fun. Looks like they hope that. And um, what a surprise. The army is here. Eyes up, Danny. Bende. I'm at the hotel. And so is the army. But I think you already knew that. It's the delicious little surprises that make life worth living. Save me your bullshit. Let me guess. You want me to take them out? <laughs> you see? This is why I like you, Rojas. Don't kill those soldiers for me. Do it for Paolo. Hmm. He just has to be looking this way. Get the wall. Time to go live, baby. Shouldn't these boys with a pistol? Yep, not. Oh, that boy. That one go get you. Uh, secure the hotel. Find the safe. Okay. I'll give you an advantage. All you gotta do is win, Guapo. Win this, win this. Oh, that nigga running. Pussy. Okay. 
aqui. Que é isso aí? Bembe, it's done. I got your book. Muy bien, Rojas. I can see why Clara has so much faith in you. You're such a good little gopher. <laughs> Is that what you think I am? Prove me wrong. I don't have to prove anything to you. Tell me where to meet you. I'm across the north bridge of the hotel. But thank you for securing my new port. So you wanted a book from the safe? Can't a man have both? Of course, Via Julia Hotel is the real price jewel. It's the best smuggling port on the south coast. You just needed someone to clear out the competition. The Russians make good money from this place. And with this book of corrupt officials in their pay, that money will now flow to me. We are done here. But you and I still have business to do, Rojas. You've paid off some of Paolo's debt, but not all. Don't worry, I have more work for you. Que tal, guerrilla? Let's make me some money. I got some customers who are dying to get out of paradise. You're going to help them do that. I've left you a truck. Use it to drive my customers to the docks, where our ship will be waiting. The docks are guarded, so you're going to work a little harder to get past them without a fight. That's where Rafael Merrero comes in. He's a forger and a very important client of mine. His papers will get you through. Do this for me, and Paolo's debt is wiped clean. Every when the boat leaves, the boat leaves. Paolo, you spoke to our mutual friend, Bembe. What did that snake have to say? He says I do this one last dirty job for him. You walk away clean. I'm not proud, but I do it again to get Talia and me out of Yara. Danny, I know the risk you are taking for me. I won't forget this. Thank me if I get through this in one piece. Danny! Danny, Danny, Danny! What do you want, Picho? Nothing. No, that's wrong. It's definitely something. I promise. Meet me back at the camp. I got an idea. Bye. Bembe, why is it everywhere you send me, I find trouble? Speculation is a waste of time. And time is money. Take matters into your own hands, Rojas. And fast. Rafael is there somewhere. Okay, Raphael sounds like a man's name. Grubs belong in the wild. Oh, she's dead. Oof. I'll put her now. That's got to be Rafael. I was gonna everybody while we're here. Free everybody. We'll find who is You won't find nothing. Dead. Remember? Bembe send you? See, si. Are you Rafael? I got papers for you. They're in the truck nearby with Bembe's customers. You better hurry. What about you? I'm going back to my studio. I have more art to create. Bembe, I got your clients and your papers from Rafael. 
Okay, Ross. Now make sure my precious cargo gets to the port. Sí. Okay. Yeah, I am not the best driver in this game by far. Everyone good back there? Sí, sí. Yeah, I'm in the truck. Boss waiting. Try not to damage the goods. Goods? I got a truck full of people here. No, Danny. That's a truck full of money. I need to track this so I can find the other ones. My money. If I have to spotlight areas so I can do this. Nah, that's not a bad one. I'm not going to damage it two minutes to go 600 meters. That's not that bad. But they got in my way on purpose, man. Fuck them. Let's go. Go, 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 go. We got time to keep fighting people. Let's go. Slay them. Thought they was going to swerve into me. Loop. Christmas trees? Do you even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for these. How do you think El Presidente found the Marios in face? Okay. Go through. That nigga dumb. Then they better be here. Our friends here will be very appreciative. Ah, moment, amigos. This isn't your stuff. Get going, yo. They're not going. Business expense. The fuck does that mean? My talent is commerce, Rojas. Why don't you leave that part to me and you can focus on your talents? Run back and tell Paolo he has my permission to leave. Vaya con Dios. He's a dick, <laughs> but I like him. News. Meme's off your back. That was one hell of a debt you owed. Gracias, Danny. We keep this between us. Talia hates everything Bembe represents. I owe you one. But Talia and I are still getting off this island. Talia, I'm at this too. Good. I'm up on the body door. That big speed. Okay, I'll find you. So we got hey, we got to stop the shit. Castillo's repeating history. My history. Yara was built by slaves, and now so is Viviro. A presidente is Afro Yarin and doesn't even realize the fucking irony. He has innocent people down there. People from our show. We did one in Esperanza. Caused the riot. Castillo's minister of bullshit propaganda, Maria Marquesa, blacklisted us. Locked me up in her academy and tried to fry my brain. But I was lucky. Paolo busted me out. Told me to move on, but I can't. Not with people locked up down there. In cages. Sleeping in their own shit like I was. I don't got skills to break people out. You do. Save them. I'll stay here. Be your lookout. Need to move fast, or people are going to die. Okay, sorry guys for that weird cut. Let's get back to it. 
Uh, what are we doing here? Camera. Oh, I just fell. Wow, really? That was nasty. Okay, let's see what we can do here. To search it, all these people be anywhere. This is sick. Go, go. I'm just gonna watch this real quick. They are torturing people to death. The bodies, blood. They pump people through here. This this what it's at. Over here. Let's not let's get all these people out. Go while you can. Run. Please. No problem. Move it. Anyone else you can free them. Or they will be sent to the camp. Over here. Go while you can. Gracias, Run. Dios. I never Thank you. They were going to send us to the outcast camps. Dalia, I did what I could, but I didn't save them all. Then we show Yara what Castillo was doing here. Okay. So they see why we can't sit silent. Security cameras are all over this place. Some footage could change a lot of minds. Fuck yes, Danny. Broadcasting footage. Biju will know how to get that to as many people as we can. I'll look for the control. I need to go all the way over here. I figured I needed to go over here anyway. Well, no point in you attacking. I already shot him down. The footage must be in here. What did I get from the gunpowder? Yeah. Okay, the footage. Gotta protect it, I'm assuming. Isn't finished. Lock them up. We need that footage. Attack. Ah. I mean, this is the easy defense, though, right here. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This is like easy. Too easy, though. I did not mean to shoot that man in the head like that. Go now. Wapo, here. There you go. Guapo got him. My boy, I missed the machete and Guapo got him. My boy. Good shit, Guapo. Get it. Really? Okay, don't. 
Don't mind me missing these grenade launcher shots. Okay, I'm missing every. Maybe, maybe I should put the grenade launcher down for now. Because apparently this is not working. Oh, shit. Yeah, you gotta have to stop with that, my boy. You got to stop with all that, my boy. Yeah, come on. on, come on. This shit does need to hurry up, though. Finally. Done. Dahlia, it's clear down here and I got the footage. Now I see why Clara likes you. Maria's not gonna be able to cover this shit up. Don't worry, we'll give Libertad some credit. Just do your thing, Dahlia. Okay, meet me at that shitty Anton statue by the front gates. This is worth it. You'll see. Trust, Danny. Trust. <laughs> Dahlia, where the fuck are you? Look! It's Anton fucking zebra. That's the horse and some paint. See? But it'll make me famous. <clears throat> Take a pick. Uh, hurry up! Take the fucking picture! It's still! One more time. I fucking dare you. I'm good with animals. Oye, Clara. I'm near El Este. And history is repeating itself. What do you mean? This is the land where legends are born, Danny. The 67 revolution started in El Este. El Tigre, La Quimama, Lorenzo, Lobo, they led the guerrillas who overthrew Castillo's father, Gabriel. Libertad is taking Yara full circle. And they know I'm coming to give them the good news. El Tigre is very, very excited. Promise. Danny, Talia, mini baje cam maximas. Fucking hell, zappers are stubborn as shit. See, si. I think you'll get along just fine. Haha, ha, funny. Just come find me when you're back at camp. Uh, El Tigre? That's me. You must be that kid Clara mentioned. Libertad's chosen one. I'm not a kid. Of course not. You're baby Tigre. And don't worry, I'll make sure you don't end up one of Benitez's trophies. Who's Benitez? Head of Castillo's Navy, a real sea monster. She likes to hang traitors like me for all of El Este to see. Pan carajo. Well, I'm in El Este now. I love it. Follow it. You, uh, have a long night? The rum and coke was flowing last night, baby Tigre. Minus the cook. Been there. I'm sending you some photos. Should help you find us. Is that a crab rock? See. Si. Call me when you get there. And bring grappling gear. You're going to need it. Now get moving up our mountain. We can't wait to meet you, baby Tigre. El Tigre. I'm in Santo Domingo. Where are they now? In Florida. The place called Kissimmee. After the divorce, Julia and Rosa hopped on a raft out of here. I know that feeling. Every Yaran does. Anyway, when we overthrow Castillo, the first thing I am going to do is call Rosa. I have two grandsons and I've never heard their voices, Danny. Oye, El Tigre. I'm at the Crab rock. Very artistic. Lorenzo's the artist, and we guerrillas are like the crabs. Hard shells? Sharp claws? They fight from the jungle to give birth in the ocean. We fought from the ocean and gave birth to the revolution. See? Si. I got it. Take the footpath up the mountain. Very easy. A guerrilla must be short footed, like a goat. Goat? I thought we were like a crab. Hello? Binga. What the way? All these ghosts in the way. Hola, ¿qué tal? 
This is where he bases camp at. Looks like the waterfall from El Tigre's photo. Need to get up there. El Tigre, I'm at the waterfall picture. It was taken after a bloody battle. Three days of hiding paid off when a platoon of paratroopers landed right in our kill zone. Planning and patience are Garia's best friends. So is a handful of grenades. <laughs> the waterfall around red that day. You know who is all the blood. The family soldados we killed. Because it was a lot. Yeah, I get it. I think we had to come all the way up here anyway. Gods. Fucking show us. Then uh, it is some goats. I got Bonds? Really? <laughs> Bro, just drop. <laughs> I think I might try to know the rifle too. Oh boy, I thought I failed. I was like, mad. You can really disappear up here. You make an army blind. How is the air both thick and thin at the same time? How far is he up this mountain? Good God. Okay, I'm at the next picture. Let me guess. Garillas are like sharks. Deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth. Actually, that rock just looked like a shark. Who's the one dangling underneath it? That's Lucky Mama. We never knew when the soldado would find our camp. So we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down. Lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines. Brave. I hear you're brave too. Clara told me about you. You know, I also grew up without a mama or papa. And you still became a legend. <laughs> Many guerrillas are orphans, baby Tigre. But it's not our parents who define us, it's our actions. It's like therapy. El Tigre, I'm at the statue. Ah, Lobo. A revolutionary, a warrior, and a dear friend. Killed in combat when we stormed Esperanza in 67. Yesterday was the anniversary of his death. That explains the hangover. Every year I drink two bottles of rum. One for me, and one for Lobo. We never lived to see a free Yara. Is it one to be one? honest, neither did I. This is the last bit. Felicidades! You're at the top of the world! Now get down here! 
beat him for the end of the cutscene. El Tigre! What a Danny! What the hell? You're trapped. Death is staring you in the face. What do you do? <laughs> I've been kicked in the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Hey! Let me do that again. What? Mi casa su casa, baby tigre. Come on. Me and the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. I easy, mama. Herpes doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I thought it'd go crazy. Merda! Another patient? Oh, looks like La Morale to me. I'm Danny Rojas from Libertad. The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on her side. Heroes to believe in. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry, one revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. Have faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled, my baby tigre. Here's what we're going to do. Ever since Anton got obsessed with the cancer drugs and making Viviro, finding medical supplies for Lucky's clinic has been impossible. So I bribed a pilot to fly some in. When the supplies arrive, we tell Lucky they're a gift from Libertad, and boom, everybody's friends. Perfect plan, right? Well, it would have been if some hijo de puta didn't shoot down my chopper. Go get those supplies before someone else does, baby tigre. So Remember the three guerrilla pimps, ones. Always be moving. Always be on I still hate that. Thing. Always kill your enemy before they kill you. Clara, I've met the legends. El Tigre is the only one on board with Libertad. Do whatever you have to and get them to join this fight. The people need heroes to believe in. I just hope they still want to be heroes. Hmm. Really, we could take the helicopter and just take the supplies. I don't know, think about it, we might as well just do that and make this mission quicker. Working on it. Don't put off what you can do today. Because tomorrow can turn into yesterday, and by then it's too late. I think you might need a nap, big guy. Little there's nobody near it right now, so we are good. Like they drop. What a mess. Sheesh. This is too easy. 
que volá. Where are you? Where la moral. And the leste is our land. Our land, our medicine. You practice that little speech. Yeah. This is property of libertad. Ah, libertad. Knew you would come begging for our help. We should be fighting Castillo together. I'm Honron, second in command. Nice girl. Name's Danny. Danny Rojas. Uh huh. Company! Over there! By the chopper! Got her up. See how this goes. Oh, I don't have my team. Beat him, Guapo. Can't beat one dude. Get that out of here. We don't do those type of weapons right here. Can I get it? That out of here. Enough of that. You'll take burn damage on what? Knock me down. Slice him up. Good job, Guapo. You've got talent, Libertad. But Yelena needs the supplies. We got wounded. Yelena's your boss. Yeah. 
He's gonna kick my ass if I don't come back with something. Well, Clara's gonna try to kick mine if I don't bring this to the Legends. Libertad wants the Legends of 67? Half of Yara things are dead. Oh, they're very alive. And half of La Moral things are full of shit. But I majored in history. They paid him blood to put Anton's papa in his grave. Tell you what. You give me these supplies, I'll introduce you. Ah, coño. Yelena's gonna kill me. But at least I got to meet the legends first. Now, Danny, you get us a chopper? Then we can talk supplies. Welcome to La Moral. Libertad. Whatever. Take this helicopter and be on our way. Yeah, they're distracted. If I take off here, they'll shoot me down. Make sure you're not underneath when I shoot it down. Gotta get his supplies out of here. Oh, whoa. I mean, do that. So long as I stay under the radar, I'm good. As long as I stay I under the radar. Nepinga! Every soldado in Yara can see you! <laughs> Alright! Let's move! Revolution. You gotta sign my pants. Como se llama, señorita? Honron. Eh. I'm with La Moral. Uh, La Moral? Terroristas. Honron, this is Lorraine. I know who he is. I think the word he's looking for is guerrilla. You're not guerrillas. You're a street gang. At least we're not hiding on the mountain while the world goes to shit. Have you seen what's going on down there? Go check out a Bio Vida facility. I dare you. The legends don't take orders from anarchists. Entiende? Enough, Lorenzo. No, you know what? Fuck you. La Moral is keeping these supplies. This is our revolution, not yours. A farmer got caught in the crossfire today. Took a bullet in the stomach. Without this, he won't make it to tomorrow. Lucky mama. A lot of the bullets I pull are from La Moral. There is a difference between playing with guns and fighting La Revolution. El Tigre. Sí. They're big on lectures. If these abuelos want to live in the museum, whatever. I can leave Puerta. But maybe I borrow some souvenirs. Talk to me when you got a minute. The last time you fed that oh thing. shit, look who it, it is! So you know, I'm a badass radio DJ. Okay, that's a lie. But you inspired me, Danny, with your guerrilla-ness. I dream of my sexy voice. Maximus Matanza's music and Libertad's message all over the airwaves. I call it Radio Libertad. I dream of you spraying a logo all over Maria Marquesa's shitty propaganda. Here's spray paint and some bombs I made to make handing out flyers go way faster, okay? Counter propaganda right into the machine. <laughs> I got chills. You feel it down there? No, it's just me. Oh, okay, cool, cool. That man's yes. weird. Oh, I can't wait to tell the Apollo. Okay, where do we gotta go? Better drop in. Oye, bicho. I'm at segunda. <sighs> About fucking time. You're slower than my shits after I ate too many platanos. I swear to God, bicho. What you waiting for? Spray the posters, plant the bombs, get the fucking word out. Radio Libertad is waiting to be born. Correle, chop chop. Oh, looks good. He's 
sending me all the pictures of these shit? Okay. Ooh, guapo. Is this shit done? Spot for Pichos flyer bombs, planting explosives in a public area. What could go wrong? I think I might have a career here. Oh, let's do this one. <laughs> Perfecto. Picho, going pretty good so far. Nice logo. Clean, okay? I got it, bitch. Right. Keep the wrist loose, okay? Smooth strokes. I got it. Doing a lot of things right now. Love you. <laughs> Keeping those wrists loose. This is this one. I'm good. One more. This one. Check that one out. Bicho, all done. That was fun. Yes, way. Oh man, we're gonna make a radio station, Danny. We're gonna be the voice of the revolution. You are, Senor DJ. Right. Uh, what a voice it is. Tough shoot. Right, Bing. Now, just throwing out some trash. Nothing to see here. Oh, 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 I'm done. No, 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 man. You're not done. Are you ready for the next step? I'm ready. Okay, so Maria's on her way. There's a banner she's gonna unveil on live TV. And you are gonna swap it out for our banner instead. Oh, I am, am I? It's high up, but you can get the right. You, you think Clara's gonna like it? Yeah, go team! <laughs> I'm into it. Go team. Let's get Oh. Are you fucking? Shut up. That would be annoying. Should have stayed on the ground. Should have. They didn't. Now they paid the price. Let's get up here now. Whoa. That's a view. La vigilancia es la clave para una llana más contenta y segura. Estén alertos para los yaranos falsos en los cafés, las tiendas, los parques y aún en casa. Bicho, I can now add vandalism to my list of capital offenses. <laughs> More like the list of shit that makes you a fucking badass. Come meet me at the gas station outside town. Correle! Oh, oh, they put a new animation in? Oh my god, that was nasty. Mira, it's starting! And now for a special announcement. Hello, my beautiful foreign friends. Any questions before we begin? Minister Marquesa, are you concerned that- How do you respond to rumors that Diego Castillo is your son? I don't. Diego Castillo is the first son of Yara and an example to all true Yarens. Now, it is my pleasure to unveil the construction of the Anton Castillo True Yaren Cultural Center. Do you see? This. 
the kind of cultural pollution we are fighting against. Ah, uh, we just need to borrow your phones and your cameras. <laughs> Everyone in Yara saw that shit! Oh my god, Danny! We have so much to do! I'm blowing my own fucking mind! <laughs> And that's going to end this part here, y'all, guys. Appreciate it for tuning in, man. I'm definitely going to be out with the next video very, very soon. Danny, the dream is coming alive. Radio Libertad, baby. Yeah, you're on the air. No, but we are so close, I can taste it. Come to my ranch. Why? Because I'm there. Isn't that reason enough? But yeah, like I was saying, guys, appreciate it for tuning in. I'm definitely going to try to get this next part out as quickly as possible for you guys. I know you guys are waiting. And I know y'all have been tuning into the streams, man. Seriously. I'm, I appreciate all the love. I see everything. Just believe that. <laughs> but yeah, appreciate it, guys, for tuning in. I'm out.